Hey guys, working on some more soldering here. Today we're working on our drill, trying to fix this drill. The battery is completely shot and we have a 5S battery right here. Okay, so we have, you can see over here, we have our negative lead, zero to 3.6. 3.6 is right there to 7.2, right there. Going across, 7.2 to 10.8, 10.8 to 14.4, 14.4 to 18. So we've taped this guy where it's gonna be. This is the BMS we're gonna be using. So that's the plan. All right, we got everything done. I think that's all we're gonna do really for today. We just need to fix it up now. So we have it all connected right here. I'll give you a little tour. Battery negative right here, and we're connecting it to our negative side. Battery positive, we're connecting it to the positive side. We also have all the sense wires connected up. Then we have our power negative and power positive, and we have two different connections tied in here, so we just split those off. We have our discharge, which we're going to connect to this right here. It'll be like this direction, and this will be attached to the drill. And then we'll have our charge wire, which will just be kind of flapping in the breeze. Uh, whenever we need to charge it, we'll just plug in our charger. So the BMS has been finished. We soldered it on, and all we did was tape to the drill. Works great. I've got a charge connection just kind of hanging out here. That's really all it needed. I went from 4.7 amps uh, per cell. That didn't work at all to a 30 amp, um, 2000 milliamp hour cell. That's going to work really well. And I'm, I'll do a more permanent fixture when I get some shrink, some larger shrink wrap, but that's not going to be coming for another month. And I wanted this to be, I wanted to be able to use this and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>